Kara. How you doing? I'm all right, but I miss you, Joshua. Me too. I've got a surprise. What surprise? My work here at the Research Institute is over. I'm being sent to Zeus to deliver the stuff you requested. Good. So we'll be together again. I'm longing to hold you. So I'll look forward to a warm reception. After all, the trip lasts a month and I'll be frozen. It will be the longest month of my life. But it will be the shortest of mine. Why the long face? Is something wrong? I can't carry on doing this awful work. The base is miles from anywhere and it's giving me the creeps. Stop worrying. What's to be afraid of? And besides, our contract expires in three months. Then we're free of the company forever. We'll even have enough money to go back to Earth. I hope so. Have a safe trip. I'll dream of you. See you soon. Sweet dreams. One month later, Ask the docking authorization, please. 17th of November, 2129. Approach request code 035-A. Start approach to left hangar, heading 185. Authorization, OK. Check right pressure stabilizer. Regular. Did you have a good sleep? I've had a strange dream. of personnel except the deck crew. I'm an Infobot model LC-93. I am programmed to offer assistance to anybody in the hangar bay. A standard crew is made up of eight personnel, ranging from the deck officer to the service technicians. 
The last thing I was aware of was an important visitor coming to the station. The standard security requires that all non-essential droids are shut down. I am fully equipped to open any door on this level. Although I cannot leave the hangar, I can unlock the exit door for you. I don't know why it's locked. Normal procedure requires it to be unlocked at all times. Bye.
water. Please, get me water. Hang on, one question at a time. Firstly, keep your voice down and make sure your light covers those dark corners. Well, it all started about a month ago when there was an emergency meeting called to discuss an approaching unidentified object. Sometime into the meeting, there was a tremendous thud and the lights failed. Screams echoed throughout the station and people scattered. When the lights eventually returned, most people had vanished and the few that remained lay terrified for days. When they eventually gathered together the courage to search the station, they found shredded bodies scattered throughout the corridors. It was around this time the lights began to flicker and although there is light here in places, most levels below are shrouded in darkness. The food was in short supply and the water was beginning to run out. It was decided that the people remaining would split into groups and go in search of the water, vats of which are situated at strategic points throughout the station. These groups set up camp around these vats and nobody dares to leave, except to retrieve food as I did. Unfortunately, the station is infested with creatures who will attack without warning. Fortunately, they will not approach lights, but without main power, we cannot travel far. Fireworks, as do torches, but batteries have become as precious as air, and the stronger groups have stolen them. It seems like aeons, but it's only been a day at the most. Yes, uh, and it's not a welcome darkness. Plenty of places for them to hide. Unfortunately not. I've been unable to call for help. Maybe you could go and find my fellow survivors. If you tell them of my situation, then they will come and help. I am a man, but I'm hunted like a mouse. Remember this, it's your only advantage. These monsters attack only when their prey isn't in strong light. Please take these. Find my friend and get me some help. Goodbye.
ไหมครับเอาฟังฉันจะจะนดอะไรแล้วอะไรอะไรอะไรอะไรสกัดแล้วแล้วแล้วแล้ว operational hand punch please and thirty seconds 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 on the Need require require a printer cartridge. Accessing network. Thank you for the for the. Who are you? You're not one of the station staff. Where did you come from? Nice and easy now. Okay, no sudden moves. This gun is loaded. Hello, then, Joshua. I'm Angelo Perico. I work for the company as security on this station. I haven't been told much. All I know is that after the station hit something and the power faded, people started dying. I was guarding the armory when whatever it was hit us. After that, I made a mad dash to get to the captain's office. He told me to wait outside along with Max. I haven't a clue. 
When I went back to get Max, there was no sign of the captain or anybody else. No, I am part of a group of survivors who now live on this level. We've taken up home in the officer's mess hall. Well, there were nine of us originally, but after an argument, the four women left in search of a way off the station. Randall, he's in charge, said there wasn't any way off the station until a rescue team arrives, but they left anyway. Then there's me and Max. Oh, poor Max, he's still in shock and very badly injured. And lastly, there's my best friend Quenevis. He went off in search of food, and we haven't seen him since. You haven't seen him, have you? Yeah, how strange. Well, thanks. Now I know why they've never come in here. It's not even dead. Yeah, they're real nasty. Don't let your guard down for a second, because if you do, you're going to see if there's life after death real soon. Kara Oceana? Yeah, she was part of our group, but she left. Well, all four of them took some supplies and headed off down to the loading bay. We haven't seen them since. I was a guard on one of the lower levels with my friend Max Sanders. Forgive me if I seem a little apprehensive, but I was almost a monster's lunch. You don't want to know what these things do to you. I was on guard on one of the lower levels and this... This thing just dropped through the ceiling in front of us. It looked like a huge sort of spider, but had a human face that seemed almost familiar. We didn't even have time to bring our weapons to bear on the beast before it had lunged its powerful tail out at Sanders. I ran as fast as I could. I could hear this thing following behind me in the dark. Then, as I ran into the bright light, this thing fled. Then I came up here and found Randall. Later, I went to rescue Max and managed to get him back up here. Sure, come on, I'll take you to see the others. Hey, what's that noise at the door?
As far as we know, we're the only survivors left. I'm Randall Carillion. This unfortunate soul here is Max Sanders, and the electronics genius at the back is Renza Boro Trance. How did you get here? He's probably dead. Angelo found no trace of him when he went to rescue Max. We would ask Max, but most of the time he slips into a delirious state and babbles uncontrollably. That's Renza Boro's job around here now. He makes electronic tools and machines to help us until help arrives. You probably won't get a word out of him. He's working on some kind of holographic projection unit that will let us see what every camera in the station can see. Whatever you do, don't ask to use any of his tools. He's extremely possessive. Yeah, right. If you're the genius, why don't you go and find us some food? Then get going, and don't forget about us, will you? Kara Oceana. Yeah, she was one of us, but I fear she's become another meal for those things. She went off with the others down to the stores or somewhere. Ridiculous idea. We should all wait here until help arrives. Quenevis. Yeah, he's one of our group. It was his turn to go and find supplies, but I fear for his health. What did he say? Where is he now? That is a shame. We all like Quenevis. With those things running around? Not a chance. A rescue ship should be here soon, and when it does, we'll all be safe. Running around with those monsters is not my idea of a pleasant afternoon. Renza Boro has a link with the station's computer system. We can't access much, but according to him, there's a ship coming. We can but believe. We estimate it should be here in about an hour at the most. He was attacked by one of those chimeras that are around. Ugly monsters who attack only when their prey is in dim or no light. Max here was lucky. I saw a guy that had his head ripped clean off. But Max isn't going anywhere. He's in deep shock and even screams in his sleep. You're lucky you haven't seen any of those things. Yeah? Well, Angelo has a tendency to bend the truth, and we haven't got any of anything to spare. As for Kara, that crazy girl went off in search of the captain, but he's probably dead now too. Thank you. Please hurry, and be careful too.
Welcome to the Hokkaido Corporation Network. Please insert handprint to verify identification. Welcome Joshua to the Hokkaido System Network. Company records have provided me with your identification, and I am pleased to inform you that for delivering the required information, you have been credited the prearranged amount. How may I assist you today? You do not have security clearance for this information. You do not have security clearance for this information. Warning. Records indicate that Science Officer Kara Oceana has not returned from authorized spacewalk 2.71 BR. Standard EVA suits only have a two-hour oxygen lifespan. Science Officer Kara Oceana has been outside for approximately one hour, 53 minutes. Science Officer Kara Oceana's suit beacon indicates she is presently located at the transmitter beacon. This area is visible from the window in this room. The nearest airlock location from this terminal is in the outer office. Certainly. Joshua, you saved me. I've missed you. When the disaster struck, I thought I'd never see you again, and that I would become prey to one of those... things. Only just. My oxygen pack is getting dangerously low. The transmitter was set by Mr. Yukaido to broadcast a quarantine message to any approaching ships. It tells them not to dock until further notice. I was trying to alter the transmitter to tell the approaching cargo ship that everything is okay and to dock at the supplies bay. Yes, it has been circling the station for several hours now, but it was only just noticed. I fear that we have no hope. I can't make head or tail of this transmitter, can you? Thank you, Josh. You saved me again. We need to find a way off this station, ASAP. I was trying to hail the Mirith 8 cargo ship that has been orbiting us, awaiting landing permission. Unfortunately, I couldn't get access on the system network and had to see if I could somehow use the transmitter directly. Then I got stuck and you know the rest. We don't know why, but Mr. Yukaido set the transmitter to order all ships to keep their distance. We haven't been able to read the message, only the captain has access and the terminal he's using has a malfunction. Genetic research, my ass. More like narcotics. This station is just like a giant research and production factory. Or was, anyhow. Well, I left a group of survivors up on the administration level who insisted that there was help coming. We left them because we didn't feel that there was, or they would have been here by now. Then there is the other group down in the storage section. I think they were a little stir-crazy before I met them. 
We all stayed in this cramped room and survived on what food we could get from the dispenser nearby. You haven't got any food, have you? I'm hungry. Thanks. Mmm, tastes good. Nice to see you haven't lost your sense of humor. But this isn't the time for jokes. We've got to get out of here. Finding the others would be a good idea. Then perhaps we could get out of this nightmare. Nobody is brave enough to venture out of the encampment, not even with lamps. I think you could be our savior. You and just about everybody here, we don't even know what they are. And they're not vegetarian, either. I was up on the maintenance deck, trying to borrow some steel plating for testing purposes, when all of a sudden there was a massive crunch, and the station shook. Then most of the lights went out for a minute or so, then they came back on. I was standing next to Renza Bora when the lights blinked out. When they came back on, he had gone. Well, we survived in this small room until a group of us realized that there wasn't going to be a rescue, and we should try and find ourselves a better place to hide. So we ventured out and made our way down the stairs and through some ventilation shafts until we found the captain and the others. The few who left with me from administration? They made it down to the captain without too many problems. We did once see an alien follow us. We were leaving the stairwell, and when we looked up, we saw an alien climb down the stairs. But they couldn't take its weight, and the whole lot came down, crushing the ugly beast. That's great. I know how we can get the ship out of the station, but what about the others? Your ship can only hold two people. We must find the captain. He can override the computer system so we can evacuate. Problem is, he's real scared, and he won't even leave the little room he's found for himself. We can but try. Okay, but keep that light up. Okay, but keep that light up.
Kara, good to see you back. We thought you'd been. But just what have you dragged back with you this time? Well, Joshua, it's good to meet you. I hope you got some food with you, cause we can't feed you. I don't care if you're hungry or not. To come in here means you gotta have something to benefit us all. Hello, Kara. Nice to see you made it back. And who might this fine gentleman be? I'm quite surprised you made it. I had received communications from the network that your ship had been shot down on takeoff with the stolen property. How do you explain this? Quite impressive, I'm sure, and we must continue this another time. But right now, we have the creatures of darkness on our doorstep and diminishing supplies. We number less than 60, and our food is in short supply. Water isn't the problem, and our only real scare is the lights failing. We have had three power fluctuations in the last 24 hours, and they're becoming more frequent. Even with the small amount of individually powered torches we have here, we won't last forever. We're a top priority secret. The transmitter on this half of the station isn't powerful enough to transmit any kind of message further than the farthest planet in the system. Station of Thesi is at least 50 times that distance. Who would hear us? When Mr. Yukaido left, he said he would send a specialist team back to help, but we have seen nobody. He couldn't be that heartless, could he? Now, this is only a stores terminal. I have trouble accessing even simple, non-relevant information. I think the hardware is damaged somewhere along the line. Did you have something in mind? I can boost your clearance level from here, providing your handprint has been recorded by the system. It has, hasn't it? Quenevis Card! Is he still alive? He used to run administration for the station. Oh, sure. There you go. You've just been promoted to Captain of Zeus Station. I also demoted myself to second in command, so that if you screw up, I'm not liable. Thank me later, okay? Good luck. According to the Quartermaster's roster, there should be a cargo ship that arrived a couple of hours ago. But for some reason, it hasn't docked yet. Not according to the terminal, anyway. No, it has preset landing patterns, which take effect as soon as it's in range of the transmitter. I wonder why it hasn't docked yet. How? Now I see why you got the job. He caught me doing something similar. Recognized my talent and put me in charge of this station. I don't know how I will ever be able to thank him. Just one minor problem. The creatures have been modifying this level, and the crates are all over the place. It's going to be hard to get all of us out. Do you think you could leave a trail of breadcrumbs or something? What's it for? Okay, thank you. Please do. I'm in no hurry to leave. We have blood-sucking, slime-drooling monsters infesting the station. Please take all the time you feel you need.
How interesting. <gasps> Enough of the we, Flyboy. The power generator is at the other end of this storage area. Nobody goes down there, because we've seen the aliens frequently moving around that area. Good luck. No, it's the same station. The reason you only saw one hemisphere rather than two is due to Mr. Yukaido. The lower hemisphere of this station was designed as an evacuation vehicle, and should the need arise, then this part could disengage and leave the area. Mainly, it's because of this factor that the station Zeus is equipped with no other escape ships. Not just an escape vehicle, but it was the processing plant, the stores, the sleeping quarters, the private hangar, and Mr. Yukaido's personal luxury quarters, too. I have never been told the hemisphere's specifications. They were quite hush-hush. Okay, it sounds feasible. Then what? Good luck. Okay, don't forget your light, Flyboy. Welcome, Joshua, to the Yukaido System Network. Company records have provided me with your identity. We are currently emitting a quarantine warning, as ordered by Mr. Nakamura Yukaido, dated 14-8-26. Do you wish to view this message? Quarantine warning. The station Zeus has been infected with an unknown virus, possibly a mutant strain of influenza. The station Zeus is in quarantine until further notice. Request all computer populated space vehicles continue to orbit paths parallel to station Zeus. Request all human populated space vehicles travel on to Yukaido station Athis or return to original station or starport of origin. The 
last listing updated the personnel count to 297. Scientist Benzi Lianth dated 17-3-26. Please wait. Scanning local area. Nearest ship is the cargo ship Myrith 8. It is on a parallel orbit to Station Zeus, awaiting the termination of the quarantine period. Do you wish to cancel the order to broadcast this message? Cargo ship Myrith 8 now on approach pattern beta to the collection bay. This Yukaido station is class A and has an explosive device is equivalent to 400 megatons. The wipeout bomb, as it is known, is protected by two safeguards. One, voice hand authorization only from Mr. Nakamura Yukaido. Two, a destruct card. Three are located on the station. They are normally located either with Mr. Yukaido, the captain, or in the safe box near the control room. The voice command can be input at any terminal found throughout the station. However, the card must be entered into the main terminal in the control room on level two. 60 seconds are given after the safeguards are removed until detonation. Connecting, please wait. Affirmative, sending new flight pattern. Calculating, with current supplies we would be able to travel to Starbase Atheza without any problems at all. But without the aid of a mothership we will not be able to go much further. According to these original blueprints from two years ago, there's a lift. To make a more concise report, I need more recent data. All systems are on standby. We are ready to leave as soon as I get launch permission from the station's network. Congratulations on your promotion. Please wait. Unless the structure has been upgraded, the fastest route to the control room would be through the lift. Only if the self-destruct sequence has been operated. As you know, my hardware dictates that I must save myself from possible destruction whenever possible. Certainly. Welcome, Josh. Certainly. Welcome, Joshua, to the Yukaido system. Yukaido Corporate Technology System Network. Warning. Final safeguard procedure. Do you really wish to initialize the self-destruct mechanism? Certainly.